hopefully what I've found today uh, will cement that fact. Uh, also, um, a incredible find. And I have not seen anyone anywhere talk about this. So um, not saying I'm correct. You can use your own opinion on that because I'm going to show you some things that are undeniable uh, about the United States. So let's get to it. So this is California as we know it today. We've got the, the valley right through here. Um, it's where a lot of the vineyards are. A lot of the Silicon Valley is right up in here where San Francisco is. Um, but let me show you an ancient map. Uh, I think this is from the 1700s where it shows California is an island. And a lot of people in the mud flood community um, has referenced this. Uh, and several maps like this, but I want to point something out because I heard something today on unexpected cosmology and I have his playlist on the millennial age plus mud flood in my playlist. Uh, so you can go straight to his channel and watch those They're pretty long videos, but I will not share anybody's videos that don't have supporting evidence. And he's by far has the most supporting evidence that I've found thus far. Um, but I have, mentioned in the past that I thought that uh, the Mississippi River was actually the Nile and um, that down towards the Gulf of Mexico uh, there you know could be the uh, original Garden of Eden and um, hang on just a second let me look something else up right quick here so this came out on March 4th, and I've been holding a lot of this info back for a long time because I just hadn't had the supporting evidence uh, up until my wife showed me this a few days ago, or well, about a week and a half ago, actually. <clears throat> but off the coast of St. Bernard, which is about 50 miles east of uh, New Orleans, this guy claims that he have found uh, a 12,000-year-old city. And... Um, he said he discovered the ruins of an ancient civilization off the coast of St. Bernard Parish. He claims there is a huge underwater granite mounds near the Chandelier Islands that may have been uh, the site of a lost city. The Chandelier Islands are a chain of uninhabited barrier islands located in the Gulf of Mexico, 50 miles east of North uh, New Orleans. And uh, it's actually just off the coast of Mississippi. Um, <clears throat> but he said before a dramatic sea level rise at the end of the Ice Age, which is not the case but anyway he said he's a retired architect um retired architect and he believes the site uh to be uh predating the maya inca and aztec civilizations in mexico uh what's down there are hundreds of buildings that are covered with sand and silt that are geographically related to the great pyramid of giza and he continues on and said he's seen uh, under like 200 foot of silt, uh, you know, just watery dirt, that there is actually three pyramids in the same configuration as the pyramids of Giza, along with many, many um, buildings of these megalithic granite, you know, blocks. Uh, but right here is when it was an island. And as you can see right here, it's called the Gulf of California or the Red Sea. Uh, and today on uh, the Unexpected Cosmology, he was talking about how a woman had sent him a letter saying that she believed that this island was actually Egypt and that the Red Sea right here is what God parted when he had the exodus and when Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt. Um, so I got to wondering, you know, there's, there's quite a few things over here in California. This is an ancient map from Texas history of Jerusalem, Texas. And you see how this thing is laid out. <laughs> it looks a lot like uh, that city of Jerusalem. This is actually a, another picture of you know, Jerusalem. And you can see how this thing's shaped. It's got the walled city all the way around it, the temple complex right here in the middle. Um, but this Jerusalem, Texas one, you can see there's a temple complex right here, walls all the way around. Um, but what's really curious to me 
is uh, this one is of Jerusalem right down here in the bottom it says Mount Calvary and you see it's got the depiction of the three crosses uh, but let me go back to this one because this is the one from Texas history and you see right down here in this bottom corner it's got the three crosses as well but down here Calvaria locusts and that translation um look this is this is latin right here this this right here is latin and here it is in english they came to a place called gogotha that is to say the place of the skull so calvaria locus means the place of the skull this is unbelievable unbelievable and then the Mississippi River system. Now, let's go back to the word. It says in verse 15 that God will take his hand with a mighty wind and lift his hand over the river and shall smite him into seven streams. Okay. Look at this map here. This is the Mississippi River going into the Gulf. Let's count how many streams spawns from this. Missouri, one. Arkansas, two. Red, three. Archafalaya, four. Tennessee, five. Ohio, six. Illinois, seven. Is that a coincidence? I do not think so. This is the Nile River. They're hiding the information. Now let's confirm it. We're going to go into the secret books that the secret societies read from. And that is indeed the Freemason Society. There are certain levels that give away certain information. And this is where all of your senators and congressmen, this is where they go to get that information. They're not going to get it from universities. The only other way they're going to get it is by continuously searching within the chancellor's libraries who are the guardians at the universities and state colleges. That's where the information is. So let's go down to page 25. Let's start reading here. The ancient and mystic oriental right is universal and is open to every master mason who believes in the fatherhood of God and the universal brotherhood of all men. The other qualification necessary of the neophyte. Remember Neo from the Matrix. The neophyte is that he shall be honorable and upright in his dealings. Number four. The cradle of the symbolism used in all masonry is placed by many of the best authorities in that country, which they believe was first inhabited, the plateau of Tartary. Tartary, the empire of Tartaria, is something that we are going to get into much, much later, but actually sooner than later. Uh, this is going to be a big one. This is where the ten tribes, the lost ten tribes of Israel, are housed. And from there, transmitted to this generation by the sages of India, Persia, Ethiopia, and Egypt. We are not indebted to either ancient Egypt for either religion or masonry, but to America. It is fact that at Memphis, Egypt, in the pyramids, under the guidance of the kings and the mystic rites of masonry, were worked many thousands of years ago. But at that time, Egypt and the continent of America were one and the same. Number six, in America, rediscovered in the 15th century and repopulated in the 17th. Do you see that? rediscovered after Pangaea and the catastrophe that you read about in the book of Ezekiel in the 15th century 